Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna check out top 3 best reverb pedals. Starting at number 3, Electro Harmonix. To finish off our list of the best reverb pedals on the market today, we have the eccentric looking Cathedral by Electro Harmonix. Arguably the most detailed pedal that I've reviewed in this article, the Cathedral provides you with a total of 8 distinctive reverb variations, 6 control parameters, and 2 foot switches. It's a bold pedal that is designed to be noticed and to be a main component of your pedal board. The 8 reverb settings that you get with this pedal range from spring, hall, and room to reverse, plate, and echo. It is capable of producing understated touches of reverb or extreme trippy tones that are perfect for creating thick soundscapes on stage. You can tweak the wet-dry settings of the pedal with the blend control, shorten or lengthen the tail of the effect using the reverb time control, or produce multiple echoes similar to the effect produced in a long tunnel by adjusting the feedback knob. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Bailton Coral Verb Iac. The small Coral Verb 2 pedal by Veilton provides you with 16 specifically selected reverb algorithms in a compact stomp box. This affordable pedal is filled with processing capabilities. There's a pair of spring reverb settings, one with a slightly darker tone than the other. There are also two plate reverbs, which both produce an authentic metallic shine. Then you get two variations of Hall and Church reverbs which add ambience to your tone, without making it too muddy. Additionally, there is a number of more experimental reverb settings like Modulated, Cloud, Galaxy, Undersea, and Sweep. To toggle through the 16 reverb variations you simply rotate the large control knob in the center of the pedal. Positioned above the main knob are three controls, Decay, Tone, and Mix. The Decay controls how long the reverb remains after a note has been played, the Tone controls the color and brightness of the reverb, and the Mix provides you with an easy way to add or take away some of the effect. To turn on the trail effect you simply hold down the foot switch so that the reverb doesn't cut out abruptly when the pedal is bypassed. There's also a LED light which makes it easy to see if the pedal is on or off. Check out the description for more information and latest price. And number one of this list, Callan Snake Bite. The Callan Snake Bite is an ambient reverb pedal that offers digital, analog, and tape delays. Housed in a classic mini stompbox pedal, the snake bite is durable enough to withstand the rigors of touring and practicing. With six function knobs, you get complete control over the nature of your chosen reverb setting. In the top left-hand corner of the pedal, there's the res control which can be used to adjust the amount of reverb present on your guitar. Then there's the CFR knob which shapes the tone of the effect position next to the LPF knob which adds or removes warmth. On the bottom row of controls, you have the PRD knob which is used to set the delay time, the mix knob which boosts the presence, and finally, on the right side, you have a decay knob which sets the length of the reverb. The Callan Snake Bite also comes with true bypass, so total preservation is guaranteed. For the price, this is a worthy addition to your rig, thanks to the extensive control you get over the reverberation settings. Who this is best suited for? The Callan Snake Bite is a happy medium between basic reverb pedals and the more expensive control heavy pedals on this list. If you want complete control over the characteristics of the effect without having to spend a lot of money, this pedal might be the right choice for you. I have included this product links in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share with your friends.